Okay, so we got news that the Apple M4 CPU is going to be put in place in every single Mac product that launches this year and beyond. So whether it's a MacBook Air, whether it's a MacBook Pro, uh, Mac Studio. Now, that's not to say that whenever the M5 chips, they're not just going to put M4 chip for the next five years. They're going to put it. Um, they're going to put it in the Mac series of devices until the replacement comes. The M5 comes along, then they'll replace the M4 with the M5s. But you're not going to see. You know how Apple, as of lately, has kind of been staggering their CPUs, right? They started, what was it, last year? iPhone 14 would have a 14 Pro, 14 Pro Max, would have the Bionic A16, the newest uh, mobile CPU. And then the iPhone 14 and 14 Plus would have last year's flagship CPU, the, the Bionic A15. And then this year, the uh, iPhone 15 Pro and 15 Pro Max would have the Bionic A17 CPU, their latest and greatest. But their base model 15, 15 Plus would have last year's flagship, the Bionic A16. So they've kind of been staggering uh, CPUs lately. Now, they've kind of introduced that to other products, not just cell phones. Um, but moving forward, they're putting their latest and greatest CPU. Now, this M4 is the very best mobile chipset you can find on the planet. Mobile chipset. I said mobile. Now, you can't put it in a phone, but mobile as in a mobile laptop. They do have some CPUs that are like for desktop only that I'm sure can slightly beat out the M4. But for the average Joe, you and me and everybody else, Basically, the M4 is as good as it gets. And why did this news leak? Why why now? Because when, when we get leaks, when we get information, it comes out for a reason, right? It, it stuff just doesn't leak out in thin air. There's not some... Um, there's not some... Bad guys that sneak into Apple office at four in the morning in Cupertino uh, and uh, break in the Apple office and Tim Tim Cook's office and run out with some PDF with some files under the underneath their arms. They don't, no, no, no. These leaks, most of them, not all of them, right? But most of them come out from the source, right? So somebody in the PR team, uh, of Apple, somebody in the marketing team of Apple, they'll leak this out. They'll push this info to a trusted source, right? Typically with Apple, I believe it's Mark Gurman with Forbes. I believe he's a uh, big quote-unquote Apple insider. And they probably are in communication with him, right? He's a trusted source. He's with Forbes. Um, although their news, their tech stories are like five days late, but it is what it is. Um, he gets the exclusives, right? So why did Apple push this out, right? What's the, what's, what's the reasoning for this? Why, why, why this? So again, every Mac product, whether it's MacBook, Mac mini, MacBook air, MacBook pro, Mac studios, the one that costs, costs like $7,000, Everything that has that has the word Mac on it from this day moving forward, they're throwing it, they're putting an M4 in it. I believe they put this information out or they wanted to let everybody know because just how good and how much attention the new Qualcomm Snapdragon X Elite CPUs have been getting. If you go on YouTube and you simply just type in X Elite, that's all you that's all you got to type in on YouTube. X space uh, X space Elite, the word Elite. You're gonna find video after video after video after video 
of YouTubers reviewing um, a laptop, right, with the new Snapdragon X Elite CPU. Um, every I've watched quite a few videos because uh, I'm going to make a purchase here pretty soon. Probably, I would say by the end of the year uh, of a new Snapdragon X Elite uh, machine, right? And just don't know which one. Um, so I've watched quite a few reviews yesterday. In the last 24, 48 hours, I was hard-pressed to find one that spoke bad about it. Now, there was one, there was a couple, a handful, that weren't too enthusiastic about it but they did not say anything negative or um anything bad really about it so it's been getting and that's kind of odd right every now and then you'll find somebody that trashes a product whether it's a product that generally most most people like or uh, that's absolutely loved it's been getting so much attention, so many good reviews, and it performs well, right? It backs it, it backs it up, right? It performs wonderful. Now, it does not beat M4 benchmark uh, testing. It does beat M3, and Apple has been getting back to the staggered CPU. See, I tied the stories in. It just took a little while. Apple is still staggering CPU. So not every flag to this to this point. Um, they've only put one product out with the M4, right? Which was the iPad, right? Um, but Apple wants to let a, each and every potential consumer know that might be on the fence about buying a new MacBook here in the in the near future. Or may, maybe that new Snapdragon looks pretty nice over there. Apple wants you to know they're not they're not messing around. Every new MacBook coming, we're not staggering CPUs moving forward with our MacBooks or with our Mac products. Every Mac product here on out is getting the best CPU you can get on the planet. Yeah, right? They boom punch the table. Um, that's a statement. That's a statement. And headlines like this, stories like this, lets people know, all right, well, I know what I can expect then. Well, then I'm getting the next MacBook Pro. I'm getting the next MacBook Air, right? Um, no more staggered CPUs, at least, you know, the foreseeable future when it comes to MacBooks. Now, with uh, iPads in the future, with iPhones in the future, probably still going to stagger the CPUs. Um, but when it comes to MacBooks, when it comes to top-of-the-line products, Apple says, we're not messing around. Um, let's see. I believe I did get this from uh, Mark Gurman. Yes. An updated model of the MacBook Pro, rumored to arrive in the fourth quarter of 2024, will likely be Apple's first Mac member to be treated with the M4. As with last year, the tech giant is expected to unveil three computers, starting with a 14-inch base model, right? And then followed by a slightly more powerful version with the same screen size and a larger 16-inch version. Uh, as for the rest of the lineup, Bloomberg's... Oh, he works for Bloomberg, not... Uh, what did I say? Forbes? Sorry. Uh, sorry, Mark. <laughs> uh, provided the following launch update, explaining that MacBook... Pro and Mac Studio, excuse me, Mac Pro and Mac Studio have been unveiled and will feature the latest Apple Silicon. So there's been, so he got this quote directly from Apple. So this is uh, directly from the horse's mouth. Quote, there's been speculation online about when to expect the M4 Mac line, which I first discussed months ago. After checking around, I don't see a change in the schedule. The M4 iMax, MacBook Pros, low and high-end versions, and Mac Minis, low and high-end models as well, are due between the end of 2024 and early 2025. New MacBook Airs are coming in the spring of 2025, 
in the MacBook Pro and Mac Studio models will arrive around the second half of next year. This will mark for the first time Apple is bringing a new chip family to every Mac it makes. The move follows the addition of the M4 to the iPad Pro in May. Wow, quite a quote. So we basically knew the Mac or MacBook Pro and the Mac Studio were going to come with the M4, right? And it's going to be the M4 Ultra. Or M M4 Pro and M4, M4 Max will be coming before the M4 Ultra. So they have different names. Like it's the M4 Badass EPU, but they have a Pro, a Max, and an Ultra version. Kind of like the Snapdragon X Elite. They have, it's the same architecture, same CPU. They just basically clock them at different speeds. Some have tiny bit of gains over the others. Obviously, your Ultra is going to be the top of the line. But trust me, the base M4 or M4 Pro, certainly no slouch. Um, it's going to have a 10-core CPU version, 3 nanometer, right? 3 nanometer SoC. Easily beats competitors such as the Snapdragon X Elite and it outperforms the M3 Pro in both single and multi-core scores and is up 45% faster than the M2 and M3 in Geekbench 6. Holy crap. That is fast. Well, that's a big improvement. Additionally, the performance, the performance of the 9-core CPU members is also unthrottled. Allowing them to perform closer to the 10 core versions. Wow. Considering that the new MacBook models have more powerful cooling solution. Oh, Google, what do you know? Back to cooling. Told y'all, these high performance CPUs crank out a lot of heat. What do you know? Apple's taking care of their cooling. Thermals, right? Hint, hint, wink, wink, Google. It's possible that Apple will optimize the M4 to run at higher clock speeds and achieve even better single core and multi core scores. Ooh, that's a mouthful. So, um, if you're potentially wanting a MacBook and/or uh, a new laptop has to be Apple, or you're on the fence, you know you're going to get a badass um, product. Right, good performing product, I should say. I don't know about the operating system, but it sure is going to run uh, pretty dang fast. Give me one second.